Hey guys, I just want to make this quick, simple video announcement about Hurricane Irma and how it's impacted my life. Right now, uh, I am in Illinois, staying over my family's place, and I did not believe this would happen at all. I am just as shocked as everyone else is about this. I am just appalled, like I don't even know what to say, where to begin, so I'm just gonna say it. It's basically gonna impact the whole floor, so I'm just in shock right now, like, oh my god, how could this possibly happen? I post vlogs, so you can see the vlogs. Oh my god, the neighbors are playing golf. They're very loud, sorry about that. This is no way ASMR, but just I wanted to make a quick announcement on here. Uh, for the masses like I post on the vlog, but I post on here for the masses so you guys can Get your news source from me, I guess, but um, Regardless I I'm still in shock like I have all my things here that I just moved with me I got just shoved all the things in my car and just drove here 1300 miles by myself it is the most terrifying thing ever um, jeez, I, I, like, I, I'm just in shock. I'm, 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 I'm completely in shock, and I can't believe all the people that are gonna be affected by this, and I mean millions of people. If not, many people have probably already left Florida because of this, so maybe it's in the thousands. I'm not sure how many Floridians left. I left on time, I left on Tuesday. And thankfully I had a couple videos pre-recorded, which um, you're going to get a new video tomorrow. But... I don't know what to say, you guys. It, it, it was scary. I packed my things. I was crying. I was shaking. I was getting such a big adrenaline rush. And I don't know. I just... I don't even know what to tell you guys, like I, I'm still in shock and I don't know what to expect. I pray I come back to a home that's, I don't think it's going to be destroyed, but at least the siding or something, like I, I don't want, I hope not the flooding and the balcony or something because I'm on the second floor, but these winds and the, the water, like I, I just don't know. I don't know what to expect when I will be back when I'm coming home. I brought all my equipment so I could film here and keep uploading like normal. But my mind while I'm here will still be there. So I, I'm not going to be 100%, you know? Because I'm just more worried about what could happen there. And now another hurricane is following behind it and I'm just like, what? So like, there's nothing much I can say uh, unless it happens to you. Um, you don't really know exactly how it feels to go through something like that. And it's really scary to worry about your life and going about your normal day. Like that day on Tuesday, like I, I woke up and I didn't think like, oh, I'm going to have to drive to Chicago, you know. I just need to give a moment of silence because I, I, I don't know what to say and I'm going to keep saying I don't know what to say and I'm just as shocked as all of you probably. I just hope everything's going to be okay because the side of Florida where I live on, they said they never even got hit by hurricanes. Like, I mean, they got hit but not like hit, hit, like the center. So I don't know what to do. I'm just waiting here and yeah hoping for the best and <sighs> what do you guys think are you in Florida did you leave Florida I managed to leave on time as I said in the vlogs I left on Tuesday night got gas from the last possible gas station I could and 
on my way up, there were just several gas stations just out of gas. It was so scary to drive alone in the dark and not have gas and look around last minute for gas. And there were no water in the shelves in the stores. Thank goodness I had the Brita water filter at home, but you needed to get water bottles to leave town in the first place. So I had to run to a gas station and just grab as many bottles as I could and go. And um, it's been, this is like, I think, day three now, and I'm still not, I'm rested, but it's where you still don't feel completely rested after all that driving, and you feel like, where is home, you know? Like, one day Florida's gonna undoubtedly flood over. It's pretty much below sea level-ish, and it's the flattest state on Earth on America, I mean, and maybe in, maybe on Earth too, I don't know, um, of course I brought my poop C, wouldn't leave him behind, had no choice, couldn't fly, had to bring my equipment and stuff, so, I, I don't know, you guys, it just makes me question everything now, a question, and begin to realize that nothing is permanent, nothing lasts forever, eventually, it is our time, and I don't know, like, what would happen if I stayed, you know, if I didn't wait? I remember talking to the, not the landlord, but what do you call it, the lease person, the person that gives you the rent agreement for the apartments. Anyway, I talked to this one new girl, and she was like, well, I know a couple people that left already, but we don't know anything until Friday. I'm like, I'm not going to wait till Friday, so I just left on Tuesday. The, the feeling, just the, the terrifying, horrifying feeling of packing all your things as fast as you can. The adrenaline rush, shaking, crying, you're alone. You don't know how the drive there will be. You don't know if you'll get water, gas, like just... And I had to stay overnight in um, Byron, Georgia, in like some hotel. <sighs> and thankfully they let me with a bird and it was just great. Um, so I needed to sleep, obviously, and, like, I barely even stopped on the way. I just, like, went as fast as I could and just, just to get here and stay safe, and I'm just waiting it out. And now today it hit Florida, and I'm just, it's finally hitting me, like, the impact, like, wow. Am I, like, you feel like, am I even gonna have a home tomorrow? You know what I mean? Like, just, this year already has been devastating enough for me with so much going on. I'm just so, I'm sorry, I just need to take this moment because, like, I know everything's going to be okay, but it's just so scary. And I'm really praying for all of you, I really am. And it almost feels like when you think things couldn't get much worse, it gets worse. And I just want this year to be over and pray next year is like not as bad, you know? Because this feeling is so sickening, it feels worse than losing a battle in a relationship or losing some form of financial stability. This is the crawling, creeping feeling that like nothing lasts forever and it's over soon. <sighs> so that's how I feel. Um, I know deep inside everything's about okay. I remember just sticking out one hurricane it was a super weak hurricane, probably a Category 2, I don't even remember anymore. And it, uh, like, just barely the tip of the tail smacked by as it was passing by. And I remember all night the windows and the walls were shaking and creaking and I couldn't sleep. I was shaking and creaking. <laughs> I can't imagine now. I can't imagine now. I, I I couldn't even, I didn't even have time to put sandbags over the doors of the windows, see, board them up, nothing. I, I didn't even know how to do that. I don't even know what boarding up means. 
Like, I'm so inexperienced with this, and nowadays with the power and the technology we have, how we still can't survive through things like this. And all they can tell us is flee, but flee where? What if I flee too late? Would there be a guarantee for you guys to see me again? The next day, so it's just so... I don't know, this is a very bad video, I'm sorry, but this is just me having concern for my home, my, well not my home state, now it's my home state because I live there, but you know what I mean, just the love I have for Florida and just praying that I don't come back to a flattened state, even flatter than it already is, the beauty and the nature of it all. This is worse than hurricane apparently that happened over two decades ago and it's bigger and and just what happened in Texas with Harvey and just devastating really horrible and who knows where that hurricane behind it's gonna come and I'm just waiting it out for it to come or not come and I might have to wait out for power to come back for water supply to come back and so they can restock water and for drinking and money in the ATM machines and everything like I got warnings from my bank I got warnings from my car insurance I got warnings from like my massage license the program the D Florida Department they even sent warnings they need like 17,000 volunteers <sighs> it is so scary and I'm probably going to end up doing something with a fundraiser to try to help when I get back. Right now I just need to settle my mind. I already filmed one video here today. Like yesterday I was more okay than today, but like today it really hit me because the hurricane hit and I'm just like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So please send your prayers. I know that's so lame to say, like everyone says it, but that's all we can do right now because that's all the human race knows to do in situations like this because we're pretty much helpless and we're a speck of dust compared to the whole universe so enjoy your moments with everyone you can because it doesn't last forever <laughs>